guys. Well, it's uh, that time of day again. It's a tello time. I was going to do a comparison of uh, the Wi-Fi flying a tello um, with an Apple iPhone and my Samsung, but yeah, uh, my iPhone's flat. So what I'm going to do is not waste a moment. I'm going to uh, do some flips and rolls or whatever this thing does. I haven't done it yet because every time I got to do these flips. My stinking, uh, my stinking batteries are less than 50%, uh, which you all know does enable the, uh, the tele to work. So let's hook her up and let's check out some flips and uh, I think we'll have enough time to do a bit of messing around too with this cool little tele drone. No worries. Let's get cracking. Okay, so tele's on. We shall find it in our Wi-Fi and take a minute and the birds have gone that's good a little bit of a breeze here today which is always exciting to the settings to make sure we are in fact on yeah, it's defaulted back to normal okay so high and bit rate high that's interesting Looks like it went back to the factory settings and we're going to select fast because fast is good. Okay, fast. And throw takeoff, throw and go. Throw and go. Terrific. Okay. okay let me just zoom out here. Okay, I may possibly see how I go with uh, landing this. I'll possibly do a battery longevity test here as well. Um, if it's up in the air for the whole period. It's fully charged, straight off the charger, 10 minutes ago. So let's get a little bit of height. You can see there's a bit of a tilt on it. Uh, this time I will actually uh, hit the record button so we can do some recording. Because that's always cool. Vision positioning may fall in high winds flying in windless conditions is recommended let's bring it down here okay let's do a flip okay we know all about bounce modes and everything okay 8d flips slide on the screen to flip in eight directions also revert to exit okay all right we just basically i think we just slide the screen here Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it does a... Uh... Okay. Forward, backwards, left, right. I'm not sure what the eight are, but... What about a circle? Oh, we can do circular ones. Hey, that's pretty cool. Let's bring him down here so we can see this better. Okay. Left flip. Oh, sorry, right flip, left flip, forward flip, back flip. Terrific. I think if I do a circle, I'm not too sure what's going on. What about diagonal? Oh, it does diagonal flips too. Hey, now that is pretty funky. Have a look at that. Terrific. Okay. Let's see how we go with the speed test. I did this the other day and the results were pretty rubbishy, so let's try again. Okay. Six metres a second. Seven. Eight. We're only sitting on around eight metres a second. Let's come back. Six. Seven. Eight. So I'm only getting about eight metres a second. And uh, we're losing signal pretty fast. So weak Wi-Fi. I like to think it's my phone that's the cause. Okay, let's head up to the sky and do a 360. And we should quite easily get up to 20 meters here. 10 meters is factory but as you guys all know I've cracked that and I've managed to soar up to uh, 20 meters. Oh it's windy up there, have a look at that. Oh, she's a bit windy. <laughs> okay, there's our maximum. Let's see if we can do um, a 360 mode. Oh, 
Oh, wind velocity is too high, so yeah, it won't let me do it because it's too windy. Okay, let's come down a bit. Okay, let's come down a bit, see if we can do it now if it's not quite as windy. Okay, yes we can. And around we go. Yeah, around 20 seconds worth to do a full 360. I have actually just purchased um, a Wi-Fi extender, a Exomi. So that should be coming this week. So I'm going to be testing that out to see if it improves my range. And I'll certainly not be as silly next time and <laughs> forget to charge up my Apple. Because I actually really think the Samsung phone is not doing me all that much good. Yeah, I'm going to keep it flying because uh, I haven't landed yet. This will be a good battery test too. So hopefully you guys can see a stopwatch going on the screen. Which is going to um, tell us how long our battery lasts for. Alright, let's do a circle. And have a look at that feature. So all this does is enables you to put something in the middle of the picture. Whether it's me or someone else me or someone else and enables you to fly around 360 degrees yeah I'm down there without basically touching anything so that's pretty cool let's cut that out I'm just going to get a bit of height and I'm just going to go for a zoom around the oval now because I want to use this battery up I said um, I've seen some reviews with the Xiaomi Wi-Fi extender. Um, at the moment, the range isn't all that good, but it's probably set on nice and safe, which is probably just as well for me because I do stupid things. And you can see it's fighting the wind there, so we're going to bring it back over here. It's really fighting the wind. High winds, the vision positioning system just doesn't work at all. So. Whether that slows it down, I'm not sure, but it actually looks like it's slowed down a bit. Which is interesting. Battery's, um, it's telling me strong winds, but as you can see, it's not really windy, but anyway. Let's... So after you've done your featured flight, as in the 360 degree or whatever, and you're recording prior to, you have to hit the record again because it actually stops. So if you're recording, and then you go to do the to do a, a 360 automated recording, etc. When you go back to normal flight, you have to record, hit the record button again, and it looks like it's automatically uh, defaulted to. I don't know who the heck that is. Why would Singapore be ringing me? It automatically defaults back to slow speed. So we're going to go fast again now. Zoom around the oval and use up the batteries. So I'm seeing how long the batteries last for. Five meters a second. Seven meters a second. It's meant to do 20 meters a second. I'll have get to get 20 out of it. Now when the battery's low, which it's about to get low, I'm just wondering if we have any flashing lights on this device that let us know it's about to be low. Don't think we do. No. So this is a pretty good battery test. This one. This is a um, constant flight. I'm just doing a couple of features of the drone. Just using the battery up, pretty much. I think we must be getting close now. So the battery indicator has gone to yellow. I am trying to, I must admit, 
wear it out. So we uh, low battery warning now. Okay, let's bring it back and I think we're just about to land any tick of the clock. Yes, we are. I'm going to keep it going until it's completely flat. And then we'll check out the stopwatch. You can see it's going a bit crazy now with a bit of wind. But I'm not touching it. It's going a bit loopy. I'd suggest the low battery is probably affecting it slightly. It'll be pretty interesting to see how long we've lasted for. I'd probably say about seven minutes. Probably say about seven minutes. And then I think we're just about flat. We might have just enough. Okay, here we go. We're landing now. Critically low battery. So thanks, guys. That was a quick, um, quick hack around, and look, basically turned out to be, uh, yeah, more of a time test than anything else. So let's go uh, chuck it on the PC and do some editing and. Um, see how we go, but I'm hoping it clocked over about eight minutes for uh, time.